Hi, my name is Dr. Maya and I work for Northeast Georgia Health System. I'm the medical director over urgent care and primary care offices. Today I'm here to help answer any questions for anybody who just found out that they have COVID. Yes, if you just found out that you tested positive for COVID-19, you need to quarantine for 10 days since the onset of your symptoms. And if you don't have any symptoms, you need to quarantine for 10 days from the day you tested positive for COVID-19. Yes, that's a good idea. A patient needs to monitor their pulse ox at home to make sure that the symptoms don't get any worse. If you feel that you're having any respiratory distress or any worsening symptoms, please check your pulse ox. Your goal is to keep your oxygen level above 94%. If you feel that the oxygen level is lower than 94%, please seek medical attention. Yes, if you've tested positive for COVID-19 and your symptoms have been present for less than 10 days, you should reach out to your provider and see if you qualify for the monoclonal antibody infusion. Once you qualify, your provider will direct you to the right place and you can get the infusion. While you quarantine at home, you should really focus on resting and hydration. Resting is very important along with hydration when you're fighting any illness. Along with rest and hydration, you should also seek out Tylenol and other anti-inflammatories. Tylenol and anti-inflammatories will help you treat any fevers or any body aches that you may fight. Lastly, you should also obtain some vitamins. Vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin D, or zinc have shown to help you fight this illness. If you feel that you need any other medications, please seek out help from your medical providers. When you're quarantining for COVID-19 at home, you need to monitor your symptoms very closely. If you feel that your symptoms are getting worse, or if your breathing problems are getting worse, or if your pulse ox is dropping below 94%, you do need to seek medical help. You need to go to the closest urgent care or ER if you feel that you're not comfortable at home. You can also call 911 if you feel that you cannot make it to the medical facility.